So at Amazing Adventures, uh, we started in July 2020. Um, but we do llama hikes. So that means that we bring them to the beach or to the river for a hike. Uh, you can walk them just like a dog. We also can do farm property hikes where you get to see all the farm animals on set as well with it. Um, so it is very inspiring to me that I get to work with my animals um, every day and I get to show all the therapeutic things that they can bring to someone, especially in these hard times. Um, I think it's opened up in the perfect timing, uh, just in time to give all the animals there. Um, so what's special about Living Adventures is that we bring all kinds of unique animals that people aren't usually used to seeing. Um, there aren't a lot of llama farms, um, and we also have a camel, and we have ewes, and the camel is actually the only animal, uh, the only camel in New Brunswick that is privately owned. Uh, we only have one more camel that's at the zoo, and uh, you can't really pet that one. Um, here you can feed him, you can pet him, but we're going to be doing some camel kill rides eventually once he is fully trained and saved to the public. So that is pretty exciting. So COVID for the business has been both good and bad. Um, the good part of it is that it kind of, um, everyone had nothing to do over here. Um, so having a unique business opening up uh, brought a lot of attention um, to expand Lamezi Adventures and uh, make it into something big. Um, so it definitely helped with that. The bad part is that when we do have the different phases, um, sometimes it's really hard to get clients, especially when it's supposed to be a touristic business um, and we're uh, stuck with only the New Brunswick, the products of New Brunswick. Um, so we do have some hard times with that. Uh, the guidelines are always changing, so we have to adjust to them. We are very lucky that all our activities are outdoors, so they are very safe for the public to do. And we were able to stay open during these hard times, so we're very fortunate for that. Um, so the technology has um, affected this business in a good way. Um, we've had lots of social media, uh, news stations, TV shows that um, are coming to record some fun stuff with us. Um, we also have an online booking system that saves them on a lot of work. Uh, so people can go online on our website and just click book now and see all our availabilities. Um, so that is taking some jobs away from uh, myself, which like, is very busy to run uh, a farm and 24-7 work from dusk to dawn. So that part really helps to get everything organized. So some fun stuff about Amazing Adventures is that we try to keep everything original and different. Um, so we do llama hikes, like we are going to be doing meditations with the animals, we're going to be doing llama yoga, we're also going to be doing photo shoots with the camel or with the llamas where a photographer can book us for an afternoon or a couple hours um, and have their client come for some mini shoots. Um, and we are also going to be doing some uh, llama picnics where people can have lunch while the, they see the llama grazing around them. Uh, so I think it's going to be some cool experiences. An advice I would give to other young entrepreneurs would be um, not to give up on your dreams. Uh, some people will bring you down. Some people are going to think your idea are just weird and odd and they don't believe in you. Um, if you really do trust in yourself and you know you can make it work, work hard, make it happen, even if you gotta do it all by yourself, that's what I did. Um, <laughs> some people kind of gave me weird looks when I started to open the business and they thought it was crazy. And now um, I've kind of normalized seeing llamas everywhere. 